heard. And Hibbert, now was that handball? I think it is. The linesman gave the penalty, made the signal. It was a spinning bounce that Hibbert controlled with the upper arm. And perfect understanding between the two officials involved. The linesman saw it. He signalled and Malcolm Heath pointed to the penalty spot. Hibbert is booked for his protests. Sixteen minutes into the second half. Peter Beardsley is the penalty taker for Newcastle United. And he scores! Newcastle in front. Beardsley, who's developed, and we were talking about it before the game, a happy knack of scoring when the big match cameras are here. And he does it today from the penalty spot for his fifth goal of the season. Three of them penalties. Regis. Here's Wharton. Stevens. In goes Regis and Carl has almost caught in no man's land. On the edge of his six yard box and Regis got his head there first, angled it down. Carl starting to come off his line and Regis almost embarrassed him. Regis trying to knock it down for Gibson. He was up well on that occasion. Gibson. It almost came into his stride. It will come for Jim, but the whistle has gone. And maybe Newcastle United were relieved to hear that whistle, even though it's for a free kick against them. After Gibson had been fouled, Jim was accelerating into the clear. Play pulled back. So Barnes and Hibbett again over the ball and Hibbett curls it brilliantly. That will make him feel better. The penalty given against him and he was furious about that. But Kenny Hibbett gets revenge. We've seen him do it so often from free kicks over the years with Wolverhampton Wanderers. He totally baffled Kevin Carr. Kenny Hibbert brings Coventry level with 15 minutes left and scores against the club for which his brother played. His brother Terry Hibbert, of course. Be ready for a call up. Saunders. 